Hey, everybody. Let me get me up here. Woo. I had to readjust my camera. It's Marilyn Peavy with Four Lash Lovers. And I know I usually do makeup. <laughs> but we're doing a wreath tonight. Yay. We're doing Frankie. I'm kind of looking upside down because I kind of readjusted my camera. See, Frankie? I'm going to show y'all how to make them. It's so easy. If y'all are joining me, say hello. Hey, Barbara. Share and follow. I'm going to show y'all. It's probably going to be about... A a little bit. So, I am going to show y'all how to put them together. I'm Marilyn Peavy with Four Lash Lovers. I normally do makeup, but we're doing a craft tutorial tonight. So, y'all share the video and follow and say hello. And if you're watching this as a replay, do me a favor. Push hashtag replay. So, that way I'll know it's a replay. And if you say hello, I'll say hello back. Okay, guys. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a wreath form. And I think this is like a 24 inch. And I will post later where you all can get the supplies. You can order it directly online. And this is what they call a tinsel or a uh, pencil reef, okay? I see a couple viewers. Y'all say hello, follow, and share for me. If you're doing a replay, re hashtag replay. We're gonna, it's going to take a few minutes, so hopefully y'all can stick around. If not, y'all can come back and watch the replay. But if y'all share, that will help you, uh, others find out how to do this. You're going to need a roll of deco mesh, okay? And... Um, what we're going to do, first off, I'm going to show y'all how to do, this is a basic, this is how you do a basic, 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 basic form on a reef, okay? And how you do deco mesh, it comes like this, and it started out, all you're doing is gathering. That's it. There's no glue or anything like that. So you, you gather a piece about like this. And you're gonna put it on this pencil reef. Now I'm gonna. All right, we're gonna work on our our reef station, okay? So you're gonna take your mesh, and there's two rows here. Can you see it? Okay, there's two rows here. So we're gonna work this first row right here, and you're going to gather your deco mesh, like right here, okay? And you're going to take this and twist. So for those ladies that you, that's done this before, you know what I'm talking about. So they usually tell you to do 12 inches, but I don't ever measure because I you can kind of judge. So this is about 12 inches, and all you're going to do is gather, okay? And you're making this puff, puff puffy puff. So... All right, and then you twist just like so. All right, and you just go all the way around. Y'all say hello to me and share and like my video. I want to see some hearts. Yep. So we're trying to make the hoops, the, the puffiness, the same kind of same size. So just use your eye. If you want to, if you want to measure 12 inches, you go right ahead and knock yourself out. So all this is is, is a tinsel reef. And now, see where I started right here? What I do is normally it's a, it's a preference to you. If you want to come down here. And start down here but to me it makes a gap so I finish it up and I undo this tinsel that I just did and I go and put this in 
there to finish it up and then twist it so everything's all in there nice and snug and there, there's no gap okay so now we are going let me put my drink down here before I drop it can y'all see me oh I'm upside down now <laughs> Put my soda right here so I don't drop it. Okay, so now we're getting ready to go to the second row. Okay, and we have our second row right here. And I am going to gather it and put start here, and then we're going to go around, okay, just like we did the top. So this is how you do a basic mesh wreath. And then... You can add your accessories, and I'm going to show you how I put Frankie together by adding some accessories and making him look so cute. So, I started that, so now we're going to work around. Just gathering about 12 inches. And we're going to put them in that pencil and twist. These work forms, uh, when we, uh, me and my sister first started doing the Daco mesh, these, oh, these work forms were not even um, thought of, and we had to, we had to use this um, Deco mesh um, and make our own work forms. And um, to me. You can still make them. It'd probably be cheaper, but to save time and to make them look professional looking and better looking, I like the work, work forms better. And you can get work forms, not by, with the, the tinsel here, but you can get them looking like, they almost look like a um, one of those, uh, the uh, fake wreaths that you just decorate up. So, this is called Deco Mesh. And you can get it at your craft stores like Michael's or um, I think Hobby Lobby's has some in my area. I don't know which area y'all are in. But I'm just judging the... Um, 12 inches. If you want to measure, you can, but I've gotten so good at it, I don't have to do that. And see the space right here? Don't worry about it because you're going to fill it in, okay? You just want the poofiness to show through. And if you want to, you, uh, you can use any form that you do want that you want just not Frankie but you do it the same way <coughs> that way other people can see my video yes I normally am doing makeup but tonight I'm doing a craft project so y'all are learning something about me that I like crafts too so and I like teaching them and showing people different ideas so Every once in a while, I do get on and do craft projects. So, besides just makeup. Anyway, now, the same way as I did up here, I'm going to finish it off right here so it will fill in that gap. All right, I see a couple, several viewers. Y'all share the video and push follow at the top. Now, we're going to cut this because I'm done and I don't need any more. So, I'm going to cut it probably long enough where I can stuff part of it up the top so you can't see this. See that? So, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff it 
behind and stuff it in one of these loopy loops so you don't see it. Loopy loops, so you don't see it. All right, so there we got our finished reform. Okay, now the next step, and I've already pre cut uh, the, the stuff. You're going to the smaller deco mesh, that which is a 10 inch deco mesh, and I'm using, whoop, I'm using purple. Okay. Okay, I cut six of these pieces 20 inches long. All right. So what we're going to do is, is we're putting this together for with kind of like where we're going to put the head and the arms of Frankie. So what you do is you gather that just like that in the middle. Okay, and I am going to put one here, and I'm going to use this tinsel, the little thing that I put on, and I'm going to put it right there, because this is where the head's going to go. Okay, and then we're going to take the second one, and we're going to put it right here next to him next to this one we just did. So we're just gathering it in the middle and we're going to secure it with that uh, pencil that we just placed, okay, and twist in it. So it, it will secure it. So now we're decorating our reef. So this is where the uh, the um, four of the uh, heads going to go, and what I got is this is called a reef kit, and this is a Frankenstein kit, and he's got a head. Whoop. Let me show you. This is the pieces. He's got a head. He's got the chain, the hands, and the body, and they all have wire on it where you can. Secure it into the back of the reef. Okay, so This is basically where we're gonna put the head and see we're going we want some of that roughly stuff to stick out Just like that. Can y'all see? That's where we're gonna secure it and see the wires in the back So we're gonna secure this with this onto that metal frame So we're gonna have to go into the back to do that but before I do that, I am going to take two more of the purple pieces, the purple pieces, and gather in the middle. Just like so. And I'm going to put it right here. This is where we're going to be putting the hand. Frankie's hand. See what I'm meaning? That's where we're going to be putting the hand. So we want to do another piece and put it on the other side kind of the same way. Gathering it up in the middle. Let's see. We're going to put this one right here. And we're going to twist that there. Okay. So now we're going to secure the pieces together. These. So what I'm going to do is spread this out. And we're going to put his head right here. So I'm going to take these wires. And I'm try trying to spread this apart and put it onto the metal frame and if you want to which i do i have not did not get you can get so it won't twist it just like you did with the um uh what do i want to say oh the 
the these tinsel things. So you're gonna twist it onto the the thing, and that secures him to the to the frame, so he's not gonna fall off. So, like I said, no glue is needed in this stuff before when they stuck. When we did this, <clears throat> we had to um, use glue, <laughs> and then the things popped off a lot. So, I like this wire where you can secure it. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I hope so. All right. So I'm securing him, his little heady boo, his little heady boo, right in there. See, I've secured his head, okay? Now, we're going to secure his hands right where we put the other purple. So his hands has got the little wires too, okay? So we're going to take it right down the middle where this... little purple is and we're going to secure the hands with the wire in the back of the reef onto the wire frame so he won't fall the hands won't be falling off come on a little piece of wire <laughs> it wants to get it wants to it wants to uh connect to the deco mesh gets hung up in it so this see how i'm doing twisting so if you want some wire cutters you can cut this short so nobody will get uh, get um cut so right now i'll go back and do that later so what we're going to do so we're going to place his hand just like so now we're going to go repeat with the other hand on this side but here, there's his hands. Y'all see? Okay. So there was his hands. Now we gotta attach his bottom. And here's his bottom. See his bottom? And these, uh, these little tails right here is his belt. So we're gonna tie a little, little knot for, on Frankie. For his belt, so his bloomers will stay up. Yes, I said bloomers. <laughs> and it's got two wires on each side. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this, this right here close to the hands. And again, we're going to bring this, these two wires on each side down the reef and attach it to the back of the reef and secure it. Okay. And I'm putting him on backwards, so hold on. I just noticed. Or, no, I was putting him on right. Well, why are you little thing going upside down for? Oh, I know, because I got this wire. Let me fix his little belt. The wire's messed up. Got it up in the belt area. And it's making his belt flip up. Fix him. Okay. Alright, so we're going to take this wire and put it back here to the wire form. And twist. Just like we did his hands in his face. His beautiful face. All right, you're sliding off the table, Mr. Frankie. Get yourself back up here and get situated. And look, see, there is his feet. So, there's what we got so far. Let me tip you up this away. Hello, see what we've got so far? Yay! We've almost got him together. So now we're going to finish decorating him, and I'm going to show y'all how to do that, okay? 
So we're going to decorate him up. Make him look pretty. Alright, so now we are going to go to put this thing on. And it comes like this. And I don't know exactly what they call this, but I'll put it in the thing. But it it's motion detected, okay? And I've got the motion detection on, so I'm going to turn him off so we won't keep hearing it. But what we're trying to do, I think the motion detector is um, like right, right in this area. So what I do is I want, you'll just have to play around so you, to get it to, to detect. I'm going to cut this little piece off right here. It's motion detected and I think uh, vibration makes that, that sizzling noise and the lights go off. So what we're going to do is I'm not... And if you do, you can't always do it this way. There's a little button. Oops. Frankie's falling. There's a little button here. You can always do that. But if you're going to hang it on your front door for Halloween, then it, what it's going to do is it's going to go off, I guess, when they, it gets the text motion into this box. And it's there's batteries in there. You ought to use three AAA batteries to put in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stuff this right in here. And I'm not attaching it. All I'm doing is how I'm going to attach it is with these little things. I'm just putting some of this, um, some of these little tubes here so it won't go nowhere. So that way when you put it on your front door, you can uh, rearrange this, this piece right here. To where it's going to be motion detected, okay? So you will have to play around with it to get it to motion detect. So all I'm doing is putting that in, in there. Some of them I'll leave hanging. You know, just do whatever you want to do. However your little heart desires, you can um, play around however you want these little tubes and wires. Because... Really, we're just making a a, a, a a ratted look because, you know, Frankenstein is Frankenstein, you know? So, he was tarred and tattered, or whatever you want to call it. So, there we go. See? And it's got the little wires. I just leave these little wires loose and let them dang. I let uh, I let one of these things dangle. I didn't even put it in the thing. And it's going to stay up. It's going to stay up, see? So now all we have to do is add our ribbons, our tool, and stuff into, into this. And I'm going to show y'all how to finish it up, okay? This right here is called... Um, uh, cosmetic, cosmic, um, because I got the thing, cosmetic twist mesh, okay, it, it comes in a roll just like this, like the mesh, all right, and you're going to cut six, six, everything that I cut is six pieces, okay, you're going to cut six of these 18 inches long, all right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece and you're going to gather it. And I know this looks long, but I'm going to show you what we're doing, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to just take these twists that we just did. You know, these little ten tinsel twists right here. And we're going to put them right here in the middle of it and twist it. And we're going to put these all over the wreath. But... <laughs> the reason why this is because we're going to make this tethered. You can pull this apart, see? And you're going to pull it apart. Just like that. See how what it does? Okay. Just like 
so okay but before we do I've got move I got tool just green tool and you're gonna cut six of these six six of these and they're gonna be um, 14 inches long just like this okay and you're gonna gather it just like this in the middle and you're gonna put it in the middle of this black so I kind of like doing it together so I know where everything is and I'll have to go back and do it and to make this tool look tattered we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut little pieces without cutting the black you know so we're gonna cut little pieces down just like so because you know Frankie's tethered he's a uh, he's been hooked up to electricity and all that stuff so we gonna make him look tethered with this stuff so there you go and so you do this six times so for the ones that's just if you just showing you got your 20 inch piece of um, the uh, black cosmic and you're gonna put it long ways just like this and gather it just like this in the middle and let's see we'll put one we'll put one down here and you're just gonna go around the reef just gonna go the whole, whole around the whole entire reef not every everywhere but just here and there to decorate him up, okay? And then you're gonna take your 14 inch tool, put it in the middle, and use those twists and twist it. And then we're gonna tether it. Tether, just spread it apart. And y'all, I have to give, um, a shout out to the company that did come up with this pattern that's the craft outlet and that's where I got most of my supplies is the craft outlet um, and that's craftoutlet.com because they did this tutorial but they didn't do a live and I figured I would just do a live just to show you y'all see how that's tethered and then we're gonna take our green match I mean yeah our tool and go down and make it tethered. I'm just using the scissors. You can cut how many pieces you want. But remember, you got two sides, so just do it. That just gives this black some color with that green. And it matches our reef, okay? All right, so we did two pieces over here, so we're gonna turn over here and do the same thing over on this side. Now, the next thing, I hope I found my ribbon pieces. We're using ribbon, okay? I'm using polka dot, and I'm using this kind of ribbon, okay? And, y'all, I pre-cut my pieces, but I put it all, here they are. You're going to cut six each, okay? 14 inches long, all right? And I am going to show y'all how to do a trick. What you do is you fold this in half, just like so. And then you fold it over again, okay? Just like so. And the the part that you're gonna, you're, we're making a V, so you're gonna cut right there. So you're gonna cut from the bottom part up just like so and you make you make that V y'all see that V that little cut okay I'll show you with the black you do the black the same way fold it in half this is 14 inches long and you do six of each color and you're going to come up from the bottom, you're gonna come up from the bottom to the fold. The bottom to the fold to make the V. 
See? Y'all see that V? All right, so we're gonna, what we're gonna do, let me do um, three of each and um, I'll do this side to show you how to do it. Now that's from the bottom to the fold. And the reason why I keep saying that to the fold, because if you do it the other way, it's gonna be a point like this. And it's not gonna be a point like that. Get me? So you don't have to tie no bow for this. From the rough part to the fold. Get my little pieces out of here. I don't want that in the reef. And it makes the little triangle. So you're going to put three, a, a three of each color on this side and three of each color on this side. Even the front, top part of your reef. Because you made them 14 inches long, so they're going to show. There we go. Let me go cut one more. Just to show you how to finish him up. We're almost done. I'll have to finish the other side when I get off of here. Alright, I'm going to put these up. So this would go over on this side. So, the same thing that you did with the, uh, we did with this stuff, we're going to um, do it in the middle. And you're just going to sporadically put the, this colors and in different places throughout the reef and with your little ties. Now, if you want to, you can do this like that, but I just like fixing it up and doing it different ways. I'll put it in with this um, mesh that we just did. Just gives uh, the reef some color and interest. See? Let's see. We'll put one here. And you just sporadically, well, I'm not going to put it in there. Let's see. Um, let's put one right here. This one's come undone. We'll fix it right on up. I just alternate colors. The green, the black. The green, the black. And you can just spread these out just like so. And since there's a black here, I'm going to go ahead and put a green here to create interest. Just put it throughout the uh, reef, you guys. That's it. Just to give it some interest and in color. Okay. And put this black up here. Up the top of his head. Just bring it up. And then you would finish the other uh, six over on this side, bringing it down. Okay? Mr. Frankie! See, we finished this up like we did on this side, on this side. And we're done. What y'all think? Mr. Frankie's done! So anyway, y'all, thanks for watching. And again, I do the, this. I am... um. I do sell unique. I am with four lash lovers. My name is Marilyn Peavy. And besides just makeup, I like crafts. So I just got on here tonight to show y'all a little craft idea. So anyway, y'all push follow. You can get some makeup tutorials and craft tutorials. So hopefully y'all will be joining me back. 
and I do this for my grandbabies, and their names are Taylor, JC, Avery, and Paisley. Nana loves you. Good night, you guys. Love y'all. Bye.